So this was sent to me. And I don't know if you guys think I'm a clown or something. I can play horror games <laughs> mighty fine. This is Eroa, Eroa, bro, your name, well, I don't know if it's a he or a, a she, but Eroa, 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 Eroa. <laughs> you have a cool MC, so I'm just literally looking at the profile because this video got sent. Look, boop, this is where we're at. We're watching today, if you haven't read the title already, Why You Can't Play the Scariest Game. Yeah. Anyways, welcome back to another video, ladies and gentlemen. Shout out to Air. Air, if you want me to take down my video, I do not mind. But other than that, you know the dealio. If you want me to react to anything, you can put it down below. Subscribe for more. I upload every single day, sometimes too many times, or, well, too many videos at a time, which there's never too many videos. I just like them. To me, all my videos are, I got something in there for everybody. Um, yeah, so if you're new here welcome air if you're watching shout out to you i love looking at art and different art styles so or like you know artists and stuff if you know me and you've been on this channel you know i'm a big fan of art so i already see a unique like main character and uh, let's just let's just let, let me start this song this song had me in the feels and now i'm about to have horror feels right after i'm being pulled through all the emotions of the request today but uh let's check it out uh yeah let me see anything just one yeah i just want to give a big big shout out because um there's a lot of production that goes into animation and everything like that so anytime i watch something like that i really want to just emphasize how cool that is and just yeah but especially even the warhammer stuff i checked out too i think i've said it in the video usually i i say it because genuinely that's just how i am so i'll naturally just give respects but the amount of work that goes into these is cool like so all right so why you can't play the scariest game i don't know if this is going to be a personal story or about the person watching but let's let's figure it out because i can play the scariest horror game i grew some balls lately uh hello yeah just wanted to leave a message for you if you want to help noah make these is videos you can support him at patreon.com so his name is noah era so is it AI Roa? Like AI? Like artificial? No, no, no. I'm thinking it. I think I'm overthinking it. Flash Aroa. Aroa. Okay. Hi. My name's Noah Krugson, and are you sure your doors are locked? Aroa. I've never been a big fan of the horror genre on a large scale. It spooks me. I lose sleep. And at this point, I don't know if Freddy oh. is real or people are just. That was so well done. I like how he's doing this. The busting in like Five Nights at Freddy's and the whole. Did you see like the jump scare? The look back and look, and he was. That was good. Genre on a large scale. It spooks me. I lose sleep. And at this point, I don't know if Freddy Fazbear is real or people are just messing with me. I'm going to break character here for a second to say that growing up as the last born child i was significantly more protected when it came to scary media and scenarios in the hands-on sense whether or not you want to argue that has resulted in more or less soiled diapers growing up is in the air for debate but it's how i was raised uh, with very wet diapers i like that and i myself i'm an only child so i had absolutely no protection technically everything was fair game for me and i would be passing well me myself i would be passing it down regardless of any barriers to not let the younger see anything horrible which i did to my cousin i uh apparently this is my side effect but i scared her so much when she was younger of slenderman but um yeah i think but what's funny is i think she brought up slenderman to me and then that kind of where I, she asked me if i ever see him and i joked around and said i did i'm a horrible cousin nah <laughs> was never <laughs> gotta give Gotta let them go through some trauma, but, um... Up is in the air for debate, but it's how I was raised. Uh, with very wet diapers. Horror was never a big part of my life on the adult side of my upbringing, so instead my siblings would step in to make me believe all these ridiculous things like the boogeyman being real, timeshares existing, and that my parents actually love me. Huh? What's that? My mom's on the phone. Oh. Oh, okay. Wow. So my bad. Apparently timeshares exist. Let's go back to 2012, where I was sat in front of my family's laptop computer with nothing but the prompt that I was about to play a fun little game uh, where you walk around and collect papers while stuff pops out at you. Oh, wow. wow. Real funny, guys. I'm not scared of white people anymore. Honestly, back then it was spooky, <laughs> but it didn't. Nice. 
that was that was that was golden oh it was so quick oh that was have that resonating horror that stuck with me when was i ever gonna end up in slenderman's backyard collecting his failed art True. projects like come on are we playing a horror game or am i giving therapy to adolf hitler <laughs> nah the real wow i already like like your videos cool thanks for sending me this guys but wait um Everything he's literally saying is what kind of stopped me from getting too scary about horror. For me, it was the first thing I was introduced to was Jeff the Killer. So Jeff the Killer is a bit more of like shows up in your room when you're sleeping sort of deal. But I watched like a versus video between him and Slenderman and kind of said the same thing. Where would I? When, why would I ever find myself in this scenario? It's kind of I did that same thing where I was like. I would never be in that scenario. Ill terrors of life come from the ordinary becoming unordinary. It's like when you go into the bathroom and you see a reflection blink. Or you say something, your dog responds in a human language. <laughs> I get smoked on the carpet. You usually feel safe and comfortable with these things. But he's right. Um, and is this is this Shaggy? And and like Velma? Things. So when they betray you, it become unpredictable oh and God. something you rarely forget. Give it a few months, you'll get it. So when I found out about infamous racing game Sonic R, my older blood relatives found an opportunity. Oh, I yeah. played this game every chance the I got. Now for those of you who don't know what this game- Before he continues, I didn't play this that much, but is he going to the Sonic.exe thing? The like killer Sonic? I'm gonna let it play, I know I'm a movie. Just... It's Sonic the Hedgehog, but you're racing. It was pretty AIDS, but I liked it. It was a fun game. Now, little did I know, my brothers were about to take advantage of my newfound love for this video game. Hey, Noah, why are you playing that? It's Sonic R, and you, and it's like Sonic, and you're racing. Oh my and gosh! And it's it's so, and the 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 3D rendering looks like the Backrooms video. Now that I think about it, because that video was all rendered, it was all like, was it like CGI or something like that? Sorry, I don't know the, like the technical terms for it, but. That's cool. This literally looks like backrooms footage. You like he's in one of the <laughs> backroom corners just with this setup. Hey, but that's Sonic. fantastic. But don't you know about the Tails doll curse? Oh, no. yeah. Don't know about the Tails doll curse. Don't know about the Tails doll curse. Yeah, I can't believe it. Listen, legend says that if you play as the Tails doll with all of the lights out and no one around, this screen will fade to black with nothing but the Tails doll on screen, and his ghost will haunt your soul forever. Wait, the, the, how, how cursed are we talking here? Oh, very cursed. The curse? Oh, you're <laughs> fucked. He audits your tax return every year. <laughs> Jokes aside, I think people have a super difficult time remembering just how scary mundane things like the darkness or creepy legends were as a kid. How many of you as a kid were terrified of going upstairs alone because the lights were off in the hallway? Oh, or yes. scared of a specific closet in your house because it made a weird noise one night? We've been trying to reach you concerning your- And I don't want to hear- that almost body me. We've been trying to reach you concerning you guys saying, No, I wasn't afraid of the dark growing up. Or I didn't have a second floor in my house. Or <laughs> You're all predictable and boring. Have you considered that not everything is open to your unsolicited whims of personal experience? Or you just have nothing better to do? Now, let's get back to the story. It might sound silly, but when I was younger, the idea of a haunted computer doll being inside of my favorite video game really messed with me. I've been playing for a good couple of weeks at this point, so the fact that a blatantly made up scary story like that could throw off my entire perception of this activity just makes you realize how mind-blowingly stupid I was. That too, that and literally that, I think what, what gets it even worse is everything combined to make it one big thing so it's like this game that i've been playing this like for a few weeks now and i haven't noticed anything weird or heard anything weird like this heck i didn't even want to be in the same room as the disc all the characters went from fun and charming to we're not waking up tomorrow that's pretty <laughs> i love this dude i i wish sometimes i could animate but not my path in life so it's okay i can watch other people do it but um What's so funny is like, yeah, like it takes your favorite th when your favorite thing is taken and twisted It's literally like when he was talking about like the dog speaking English or think you see your reflection in the mirror sh shift Which uh, you may actually be 
So guys, don't be stupid. There's not a haunted doll inside of your personal laptop computer. The robot don't trust tales. anything that anyone tells you. And as always, lock your doors next time. Eat dirt. That was great. That was just a story time for These are all... That was it? That was the whole thing? There's no moral, there's no conclusion, it's just a couple jokes about taxes and Adolf Hitler and this guy dips? <laughs> Are you serious? What is this? What is this? This is art? What is it? It's fan art? <laughs> this has nothing to do with the whole movie. What is this? That's all fan art? That was four minutes long! I paid full admission for this! And it's... <laughs> And it's only four minutes long. I am this close to getting a refund on this. I like this. How many other people? Who else is in here? Am I the only one here? I'm here. Hey, that's that's awesome. I am the only one in this theater that's watching this right that now. That was weird at first. Is everyone else? Okay. This is this is pathetic. This is pathetic. Okay. That was a cool way to show like all the fan art and stuff. That's really cool. That's that's really cool. Oh my gosh. If I started getting fan art, that'd be really cool. People drawing me, watching videos, drawing me in different things and different games, that'd be really cool. But, yeah. I've literally not seen anything else. Cool, cool guy, cool guy, cool guy. Well, shout out to Aroa again, or Aroa. Dope. The animation's on point, the joke's funny, caught me off guard at times, and I sh I'm sure we all have those stories of something that was twisted and like ruined maybe not though but um i'll get i'll take a really quick mem i'll say i'll say my ending stay tuned real quick if you don't want me to end the video so fast i'm gonna try to f search through my mind while i'm saying this and pull out a story that i can think of a time where i had something that i liked kind of ruined because something somebody showed me something horror about it or i seen something horror about it but in that, much love and moonlight, and or yeah, much love and moonlight. I, my intro, my outro is so short, so like it just threw me off for a second. Let me think. Is there something? Um. No, I think I actually do think the was it the SCP Foundation. Not because of recently, like I've said in my SCP video, like reactions that I've been watching, I knew about SCPs for a while. So it's not a new thing that got ruined, but I think it was. SCPs kind of messed something up for me. But, um, yeah. Maybe I'll make a video one day, like him. Less animation, but I'll tell the story. But, yeah. Alright, other than that, yeah, that's my thing. I think I was playing something and I learned that someone somehow turned it into an SCP, and I was kind of like, Boo! but yeah, and that, or a creepypasta too, there's some creepypastas that stood up for me, just like the Tails one, it was actually the Sonic.exe that was one, and another one that was a creepypasta, but yeah, I will see y'all later, much love and moonlight once again, for those of you who stuck here, and yeah, you know the drill, peace.